Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Gigi and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, like I just said, my name is Gigi and today we are getting into the tea. Let's get into this tea because it is piping hot, you guys. Emo Black Thought is a man. <laughs> Emo Black Thought, formerly known as Mad Black Thought, yesterday revealed finally their identity and it turns out that they are a light-skinned, gay, black man. Let's get into this. So, if you have been active on Twitter for the past four, three years, you are probably very familiar with a Twitter user called Emo Black Thought who used to be called Mad Black Thought before they got suspended. Many people know this account because of their daily affirmations, their reminders to do your skincare routine every single day, stay hydrated, reminders to go to therapy, just all around positive vibes, positive at words of affirmation, all that jazz, and also because this account got so big that they are actually like friends with like other celebrities such as like Kehlani, they've been acknowledged by Megan Thee Stallion and everything, so this is a very popular account. If you are on Twitter, you have probably seen this account, right? One of the things that made Emo Black Thought or Mad Black Thought so special to the Twitter community is the fact that this person was always so open about their mental health struggles and they identified as a queer black woman and they were constantly uplifting other black women. Um, we assumed that this was a dark skinned black woman because of the way they were tweeting, saying things about the black struggle, the dark skin struggle and all that jazz. But as of yesterday, it has been revealed that Emo Black Thought's true identity is somebody by the name of Isaiah Hickland or something like what the hell like what Twitter is up in arms about this and rightfully so because again what made this account so special is that it gave black women a voice despite being anonymous it gave us a huge voice a huge platform to speak about our issues talk about our daily struggles as black women but also to talk about other things, you know, it was a safe space for the community on Twitter. So this reveal has just come as the ultimate betrayal for many people, including myself. And I'm going to get into why right now. So there are so many receipts. I'm still like gathering information. So I'm sorry if I like say something that's wrong or not completely accurate because I'm still like trying to figure it out. I'm kind of just making this video like I didn't even think about what I was going to say. I just like decided to film because I just want to like get my thoughts out about this. So basically what we know for now is Mad Black Thought slash Emo Black Thought. I'm going to just say Emo Black Thought for the sake of this video um, is named Isaiah Hickland, I think. Um, he's a 23 year old man who also has a career, a social media career, I guess you could say. Seems like he wants to make it in music or something. And apparently has tweeted like his personal account, the Isaiah account, from the Emo Black Thought account again under the guise of like, like Emo Black Thought manages that account or something, like some random BS, like some random BS. So it seems like Isaiah, started this account as a way to I guess spread positivity but where he went wrong was pretending to be a black woman. The reason why this is so f infuriating is just because black women are already seen as caricatures, we're already not taken seriously in the public sphere, let alone the social media sphere, you know what I mean? And it was just really nice to have a representation that was so big, had such a big impact, it was connected to all these celebrities on Twitter, you know, to speak for us, to help form the sisterhood with us and it just is disgusting that non-black people or people that aren't black women can just take the idea of the struggling strong independent black woman and just wear it as a costume in order to profit for themselves because that's exactly what he did if you're if you think about it that's exactly what he did he used emo black thought to gain this huge following and then was using it to plug his own 
BS music career. It's just so disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't even, I can't even like form coherent thoughts because I'm still processing it. But it is just so disgusting. Like black women are taken as a joke every single day and for this guy to sit here and act as an ally to us to act like he's one of us to act like he knows the struggle to be sitting on twitter talking about period cramps to be talking about endometriosis to be talking about all these things pretending to be a black woman like are we a joke to you clearly we're a joke to you like that's disgusting it's disgusting and i'm just shocked i'm appalled and it seems that now he's been getting a lot of hate and so he deleted his uh, account or deactivated it temporarily. Who knows if he's going to make a comeback or not. Hey y'all, it's me editing a week later and it turns out that he has made a comeback now but not as Emo Black Thought. I think the Emo Black Thought account is still deactivated but he is back on Twitter as himself, Isaiah Hickland, and actually made like a three page apology that i did not bother reading because i to be honest i don't care what he has to say but if you're interested in that i mean i guess his account is open now if you want to go see it at this point i don't think that it's a good idea to make a comeback because who's gonna support you like i'm sorry i saw people following his personal account and i was like why would you why would you follow his account what is the appeal here he lied for years like it'd be one thing if he created this platform and didn't specify pronouns, didn't make it seem like he was a part of the struggle of black, dark-skinned, queer women. But it just, like, that was just too far. Like, talking about periods and stuff. Like, are you serious? Like, bro, like, did he, like, like, I seriously am, like, picturing him going online and searching, like, symptoms of a period and, like, period cures or whatever, and then hopping on Twitter as Emo Black Thought and being like, hey, ladies, so I'm suffering through some really bad period cramps right now, and here's what helped me. Like, are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. There's, this just blows my mind. Like, I cannot process this. I can't. And it's so disgusting. <sighs> I'm sorry, I need to find another word to use besides disgusting, but that's just like disgust. Like that's the only thing that's like coming out of me right now. Like I'm getting heated thinking about the fact that this person was always uplifting other black people and other and black women were uplifting emo black thought. Like black women were donating money to emo black thought thinking that they were donating to a struggling queer black woman and helping her through her mental health issues, helping her through her daily struggle as a queer black mentally ill woman like do you realize how manipulative manipulative and how disgusting that is i just there are no words there are no words like i cannot imagine being one of those people that donated money thinking that i was sticking up for a fellow black queen just to find out that it was some random light skin ass trying to impersonate us using using black womanhood as a costume as a mask as a way to get forward there's just no words i just i can't and i think about the fact that this person was really seen as like a confidant to so many people they were constantly getting dms like i can't even imagine the things that people must have dm'd this person thinking that they were a woman it kind of just makes me so uncomfortable really it makes me really uncomfortable thinking about it because this is just such a breach of trust i think he tried to justify himself by being like oh yeah when mad black thought got suspended um, she gave the account to me to take over as emo black thought or whatever and a lot of people kind of believe this theory because they think that there is a clear difference between the way mad black thought used to be when it was like the pink like nail emoji icon on twitter the ogs know what i'm talking about versus like i think now their icon was like the like teardrop and like it changed colors a couple of times or whatever but a lot of people on twitter are saying that they did notice a very clear difference between mad black thought and emo black thought but personally i didn't really notice a difference maybe because i never personally interacted with this person like this i kind of was just following and they seemed fine to me you know but it's either way that is no justification let's say that mad black thought was a queer mentally ill black woman who decided to give her account away to this person isaiah first of all why would she give it away to a man second of all even if she did choose to give it away to a man why would this man 
choose to like keep on this persona like why would it's just so manipulative and now the fact that he came out with this whole paper magazine article being like I'm ready to reintroduce myself fuck out of here I'm sorry no 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 I'm not here for it I'm really really not and the more I think about it the more it makes me mad because how dare you how dare you I just seriously cannot stop thinking about those people that donated money like it's just disgusting what are you guys' thoughts on this I I'm still gathering my thoughts I'm gonna try to touch on this topic yet again oh wait before I end this video there's like a little anecdote I don't know if, if it's even like relevant or whatever but I guess it kind of is because people were talking about it but people found um Isaiah his personal Instagram and found pictures of him and Lil Nas X and I'm gonna try to insert them here or something so it turns out him and Lil Nas X are friends and the reason why this is so funny is because Lil Nas X also had like a Twitter persona back in the day before he got famous, Nas Mirage, and decided to shed that in order to get famous. But the difference between Lil Nas X and Isaiah is that Nas was never, he was never fraudulent about his identity. He, he was never fraudulent. The most fraudulent thing that he did really was stay in the closet once he got famous, which like, his sexuality is really none of anybody's business and I feel like the only reason why he even came out is because people like dragged him out like the people that knew him as Naj Mirage dragged him out of the closet which is wrong but there's nothing wrong with him having been like an old Twitter account and now rising to fame and trying to create like this whole new image, image for himself like he used Naz Mirage to get where he is today and that's fine because he never lied about his identity this person straight up lied about their identity and was tweeting like they were tweeting like Tweeting saying things like my titties hurt because I'm on my period. Bitch, what? Bitch, where? 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 How, Sway? How? How? This is... You guys. You guys. It's just funny because obviously this kid, Isaiah, thought that he could have done the same thing as Lil Nas X, as Naj Mirage or whatever. And hell no, you're not about to do that. Where? How? Where? No. You fucked up. I'm sorry you really really did and it's a shame because emo black thought was everything it was everything I stayed hydrated because of emo black thought I ate in the morning because of emo black thought I decided to go to therapy again because of emo black thought like I don't think this guy realizes how much he truly impacted people's lives and if he does and still chose to keep this huge secret for years I'm just so repulsed disgusted angry confused I just don't know. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this topic. Please let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking. Let me know if I forgot about anything. I think I'm definitely gonna make another video to touch on this topic again. Because girl, we're not done talking about emo black thought. Uh -huh. Girl, we're not done talking. Next time I'm actually gonna have a teacup. I was gonna make one, but I just got, I just needed, I just needed to talk <laughs> so I just didn't have I didn't feel like going downstairs and making a cup of tea just for the sake of this video like I just needed to rant I needed to talk or whatever yeah let's talk about it let's start a discussion so yeah thank you so much for watching you guys if this is your first time seeing my face and you like this video please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below it helps me out a lot I don't know how but I hear all youtubers saying that so I'm just gonna say it too yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.